happy to donate. Excuse my Merry Christmas box, but that's oh, I what I found it. to keep it safe. My son loves Christmas, so maybe I should save the box for him. It's it's more of a... I don't think so. Like, look on the back. Okay. Now, um, the old school Ghostbusters, that's been his thing. Yeah. He likes the They had Ghostbusters. I love the Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters happened in his home city where he's from. Yeah. I saw your post on Facebook, and, uh, and so like last minute I grabbed some stuff on Amazon. But the boxes are a little beat from the travel. Go for this. Oh wow! Oh wow! You got Ray. <laughs> they don't make it here. He found uh -huh. a uh, white ambulance version. Oh, oh, you're welcome, bud. You're welcome. What happened? What's up, man? Um, Dude, we got a real movement going here. You do? Like, and we'll make it fun, and it doesn't have to be a drag. Like, get in shape. Let's make it fun, because it's already a drag. So if we do it together. We'll commend you for going out there. I mean, you're inspiring a lot of people. Make oh, well, right on, dude. I'm psyched. That makes me really happy. Rock and roll, dude. Yeah, I think he's still a little shy, because at home, and I will get it for you guys, and I'll just send you a private message of him going ape shit. He's like... <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Ah, oh, man. What's up, player? I came in, I had a bite. Oh, man, I, yeah. Bite what? Donuts. So good. Powdered donuts? Which Powdered donuts? donuts? I had one with M&M's on top. I ripped off a piece of the one with the M&M's on it. Mighty good. Powdered donuts. Somebody donuts needs to try the, uh, the cake. Since we kind of assumed one for each of us, you see they have the dragonfly. And, uh, I propose that we all take a bite. The guys didn't seem all that into it, so I'll take a bite. Oh, Travis will take a bite. I've got, you know. Hmm. What's in there? What's in there? What's he got? There's got to be something in there. No. <gasps> <laughs> what did he do? Every oh, reaction. Oh, my God. <laughs> what was that about? Why did you react like that? I don't know. I don't know. Are you upset because I was fingering the donut? No, he no, just... was like, I had my heart so set on some cream. <laughs> That's really all it was. It was pure, unadulterated, genuine. Shock. Like, <laughs> how could there not be cream inside of this? No, or jelly? How could there not be something in there? You no, know, like for, for me, a lot of times, no, sure. like tracking a record, exactly. and I'm playing, kind of pushed it forward too. Like, exactly. Exactly. Push here a little bit. Lead singers talking. Second favorite record. It's, like, it's, it's I've been of waiting to see what for so long. Lead so singers that. talking. And deer hunters. I can't have wetness, believe it or not, but this is after I play. This is just wringing out sweat. I love this job, but it's not always just fun. There's a lot of work involved. Oh, just shit. Just ask this guy. Shit, what do I do? I'm wringing out my clothes for the... Yeah, man. <laughs> What's... Who are you? What are you doing back here? My name's... Who the fuck are you? My name's... <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Hey, you're here, dog. Uh, Dude. I, I just wanted to tell you guys that I... It means the, the world, don't get us wrong, dude. That means the world yeah, to us. I love you guys so much. And I'm, Thank you for coming and being here. Yeah, but I think yeah. you should probably split, dude. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm not I, trying to be rude. Here, I'll walk with yeah. you.
are you guys? Hi, man. Man. We tried to, to see you a piece of vinyl, but the, yeah. the truck got late. So. Well, guys, welcome to the show, man. It's so good to see you. I just got to say, uh, I was following what you were doing when I found out you were going to come and do all of Good Apollo 1 again. I just went, wow, there's no way I'm going to miss this. Right. You know, it was a lot of fun to find all that stuff and, and realize what stuff was important to really bring dimension to the songs. And uh, and so, yeah, for like a couple of months, you know, I'd do a little here and there, chip away at it. And then once we got into rehearsals, we, you know, we got together and we started to work with that stuff as like a member of the band. That's great. So did you put it up a, like in the in the room so you could hear certain parts and and dissect them basically? Oh yeah. yeah. You mean like when I was sort of chipping When you were doing session? with the stems. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. That's yeah. so cool. And it was so awesome because you know there'd be moments where I would just like uh, uh, isolate certain things. Right? Yeah, and I'd let them sort of ride and just listen to them. Like, even the string sections and wake up, yeah. you know. Dude, I, I would have loved to have been there for oh, some of this. Me man. too, dude. Because it's a time capsule for me yeah. too. And just like it is for you, I would love to hear, dig through the stems and listen oh to that God. stuff. Yeah. I was a usual kid, and Claude was, I mean, you know, he probably had a lot more. Yeah. What's, well, <laughs> well, no, no not usual. Right. Right. Yeah, speak for Yeah, not a usual kid. But I mean, when it comes to like metal guitar playing, and stuff. Who are those like original guitar players you love? Tony Iommi or Jimmy Page or some? Yeah. Of course, that was part of our lives. Or, yeah. or Thin Lizzy, you know, the numerous guitar player. I mean, you know, my wife and I, we sat down and you know, I started coming up with this idea for what the con to continue the concept. Yeah. And this is sort of after these this material was kind of written, maybe with yeah. the exception of a couple of sure, songs. Sure. Yeah. Um, but, and which uh, concept do you mean? Do you mean um, it, it's uh, the next record will stay inside the Amory Wars? Great, it'll so continue. Is in... that going to be a prequel? You'll like... see, Matt. I can't. All right, I mean, I'm <laughs> asking, it, like, is it pre second stage? Everything, story? you know, even though everything mm -hmm. sort of ends and and concludes in terms of the uh, Coed and Cambria arc with yeah. No World for Tomorrow, the second Good Apollo. Yeah. Uh, this record, sort of these other elements that are brought up in some of the other records kind of converge at as as a story at the end of it. Yeah. Like I, I don't know if that makes any sense. Like well, it feels like it's tying like, it all together. Is that what it is? It kind of starts and Fuck it, it, I'll tell you, Matt. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's basically the it's basically part 5. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Hi, this is Claudio, Travis, and Josh, and Zach from Coheed and Cambria and you're listening to 2 Hours with Matt Pinfield. Woo! Oh man, my throat is that's per <laughs> that's amazing. And so do it again. We're gonna, Here. Uh, we're gonna use that, right, Ted? <laughs> of course he said. Uh, <laughs> that's amazing, dude. Do two more. This is our song, A Favor House Atlantic, on two hours with Matt Pinfield. Travis, your face is hilarious when you do this. What was the other one? <laughs> this is our song. You're speaking while I'm uh, hello, pitching. doing liners. <laughs> I like the you laughter. Know about this. <laughs> this is our song, The Suffering, on Two Hours with Matt Pinfield. Like a pro. Like I just thought there was Band oh, Touche the other night, and I was oh, like, oh, we're like doing this. Who is it here? There we, yeah, they played um, some UC campus thing. Oh, so Travis! Travis! We go this way. Ow. Oh. 